Hey there, in this project I've got a little bit of a dilemma. I've got some whirly lines which I've played in using my external whirly keyboard and I've got some drum grooves which I've imported after I played the whirly line and the whirly's out of time with the groove, but the groove is a groove so it's not able to be quantized to a set grid because it's got some feel about it. So I need to create my own quantize setting from this groove. To do that, I go over here to the left hand side with the event selected that I want to use to create this quantize map. And I move this threshold slider up and down until you can see that I've captured all of the important hit points or drum hits, which are included in my selected event. Now that looks pretty close. So there you can see all of the different hit points, which are the basically the main parts. I can also use this intensity slider to get greater accuracy. But as you start to see those hit points appear, you'll notice that they're not locked into my grid. So basically they are around the start of the bar and then there's a bit of lag in the middle of each bar. And that's what's giving us the groove and the feel. So it's a matter of messing around with the threshold and the intensity faders to make sure you've captured all of these important hits. And it could just be a kick or a hi-hat or a snare. And you can go through and you can play all of these different sections, which we, we've basically created using these hit points. And the threshold has detected the transient, so they're the peaks. Now we're going to come down to create groove quantize from hit points and this is super cool all we need to do is click on this button and instantly up in the drop down quantize panel right here you can see that we've got a new quantize setting which is a setting based on the groove from the sample that we've just extracted so now we can go and start quantizing other elements of our track for example the whirly one of the cool things about Cubase is the ability to quantize audio. And I've got the Whirly track selected right here and you can see all the hit points in my Whirly track down below. Now I could edit those if I wanted to, to get, I guess, greater precision, but I don't need to. All I need to do is go and find that groove, make sure this audio warp quantize setting is on and hit the Q button and instantly Cubase has moved my Whirly notes around. and it fits in perfectly with that drum groove. So this is a really cool feature inside of Cubase. You don't have to be locked into the rigidity of a grid quantize setting. You can bring your own grooves in and create your own groove quantize settings. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel and give us the thumbs up if you've learned something. I'll catch you soon.